so I got this crazy idea the other day. And I was like, why don't I try and make my Friedman sound like my Plexi? So I did it. I truly was so shocked. I was standing there with my, I had to pick my jaw up off the floor. I mean, I, I like the old amp, you know, it's one of my favorite amps I own and favorite amps I've ever played through. Um, I've gone back and forth about the Friedman uh, 12 or 16 times probably. Um, I posted it for sale a couple times. I've never sold an amp, but you know. All right, so if you're new to the channel, my name is Louie Lively. This is my home studio, and today I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool stuff. So if you like it, I'd love if you would subscribe. So I know how much of a plexi guy Dave is at heart. Obviously, that's where he got to start. So I, I started tweaking. It took me like two minutes to, to do this, okay? So check this out. All the switches on the back are disengaged. All the modification switches are on the back are, are, are off. I have everything on the front switched classic plexi enough, whichever position they're in, I'll show you. So on the, on the front of the amp, I got the master volume all the way up and I'm using the gain knob as a volume knob, right? So you're getting the tubes hot and saturated and you can use the gain knob to dial in, you know, all the way up on 10, it's just too much because that amp has a lot of gain, way more than an old Plexi. Um, but with the, the, the gain at noon and the master all the way up, it sounds legit. So I figured I'd try and copy the settings off of the Marshall. And I copied them almost exactly. And the sound, it, I mean, when I plugged into one and plugged into the other, I couldn't tell the difference. They're, through cabinets, at least, they're, they're almost indistinguishable. Which doesn't surprise me considering Dave's heritage and what he does for a living. And he makes one of the best modded marshals there is that you can buy. But the way I have it running right now, obviously, I, through the cabinets, I had it running through my Fryat uh, because it would, you know, make my ears bleed. And I don't feel like doing that today. So the way I have it set now, I mean, it, it, it's, it's almost identical. And it's pretty cool, and I think you're going to like it. Everything I'm going to be playing is going to be, uh, obviously, through each individual amp, is going to go through the Sur reactive load, um, just for continuity, and I don't feel like micing up a cabinet for this, and it's really loud. Um, so, through the Sur reactive load, through a 4x12 Marshall-style cabinet with uh, greenbacks, both amps are on 10. I mean, they're, they're, they're smoking hot. Like, you can smell them. And there's no attenuation in the, the reactive load somehow is taking all of it. All right, here's the deal. Marshall, treatment. You already knew that. We're running the Marshall into the treble lead, input, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not jumpering the channels, which um, this is the jumper cable that came with the amp from my friend that I bought it from. I had never taken this out of these two inputs. I've had this amp for, I think, almost six years. And uh, I was watching a video the other day. I think it was Pete Thorne's video with, uh, with the Jose modded uh, Steve Vai's amps. So I watched that video and I immediately ran over here and turned this on and yanked this out. And I could not believe the difference. And jumper, they sound great, okay? Um, and I don't run I, the, the base side ever all the way up, but the amount of gain that you lose jumpering the inputs is, is uh, uh, astonishing. I couldn't believe how much gain I got back when I pulled these out of there. And it sounded good. I didn't miss not having the base channel. So I think that's how the, the Friedman is voiced, uh, you know, because I mean, that's basically all it is. It's a modded you know, super lead. Um, I think it's voice for that lead channel and not jumpered sound. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... So, we're running straight into the treble input. Uh, volume's on 10. The master volume on the back is obviously on 10. So, across the board here, we have presence at about 7, bass at 4, 
middle a little over six and treble a little over six. Okay, and it's identical on the Friedman. I, I set everything almost identical in the EQ section. I gave it a little more bass um, just because this is actually kind of bassy sounding, you know, through the, the, the studio monitors. So I gave this just a, a little more bass to, you know, just round them out. See, master here is on 10, gain is at noon. These switches are all either off or in the classic position, if you will. Um, obviously the clean channel doesn't matter. And um, the effects loop is turned off on the back, so this master volume controls the whole amp. Um, and it's on 10, as you can see here. So let's see what they sound like. All right, so we're gonna go through the Marshall first and then switch to the Friedman. I'll play a couple different guitars and, you know, switch back and forth. We'll start with this. This is my main guitar. This is a, a 2010-ish, I think, Les Paul Custom Shop uh, 59 reissue. It's got Wiz pickups, PAF replicas, um, which I think are the best on the market, but that's just my opinion. So I don't think it gets any more classic than the uh, Les Paul Ingo Marshall. <laughs> The other cool thing about these style amps, and uh, especially guitars like this, is that back then they didn't have clean channels, they didn't have channel switching amps, so they, they used their, their volume knob, that was their, you know, three channel amp. So these amps, they, they clean up like, you know, they're, they're, they're spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look what I decided to take out. Shoot me. Um, it's got these these V60 LPs have a, have a real good sound, but um, I'll grab the the real Strat in a few. So this is uh, one of my favorite guitars I've ever played. Uh, this is a 1964 Fender Strat, obviously. This is one of the best sounding guitars I've ever played and or owned. Um, and it's classic. There, there, there's, you know, obviously Les Paul and a Marshall and a Strat and a Marshall. It doesn't get any better than that, especially old ones. <laughs> Thank you. 
At the end of the day, obviously they're both still killer amps and you'd be hard pressed to get a bad tone out of either of them. I'm partial to the Plexi just because of what it is and, and my friend and I, our relationship and that amp and it, it sounds great. It's one of the best sounding amps I've ever played through. The Friedman is a great modern amp and this is not how you would run it, but it was a cool comparison, I think. And it, it's cool to get the, the, the Friedman hot and it sounds pretty close to the Plexi. The Marshall is not something that you would want to take on the road as a, you know, a working gigging guitar player. If you have a crew and, and people to upkeep your stuff, it doesn't matter. But, you know, for a hired gun or somebody, you know, a sideman, the, the Friedman is reliable and uh, versatile, although mine is not very reliable. It hasn't even left this studio, and it, it, it's red-plated, I think two sets, one set of tube, or two sets of tubes, and blown like three or four fuses, so. Let me know what you thought, and you know, if you liked one more than the other, if you think that they sound similar, if they don't sound similar, uh, I'd love some feedback. So tell me what you think. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, do your thing. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video.